Well, the Charleston Wine and Food Festival is celebrating its 18th anniversary tonight ahead of four days just packed with different events and experiences for you to enjoy. Opening night festivities were moved inside to Festival Hall downtown Charleston due to the weather. But it's not stopping the excitement that surrounds the event. If anything, it's amplifying it. We know that it is loud out there. Our Emily Johnson joins us now live at the event. Now, Emily, that event started just about 30 minutes ago. What's the energy like inside? It almost looks like a high school prom or something in there. Yes, Justin, will you probably hear and see how much the vibe and energy here inside of Festival Hall has picked up since we've been here for the last few hours. Now, Charleston Wine and Food has been working for years to make this city a culinary destination. The event had around 40,000 people attend in 2023, but they're seeing and expecting around the same number this year. Also, the Culinary Village experience is one of the most attended and different of the elements of the festival, which occurs on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But nights like this, like opening night, and different events at the restaurants throughout the week will also be occurring for these next four days. Now, we're here joined by two different St. John's High School students, and they are part of an interesting, incredible culinary program. Ladies, can you tell me what brought you here tonight? Uh, yeah, we actually were recruited to come help us uh, as needed and provide any assistance tonight from all the way to closing, so yeah. It's an incredible opportunity for students to come involved, and so how has it made you inspired to become a part of the food industry? Well, I decided to pursue culinary in the military, specifically the Army, and then after I retired from the Army, I hope to open my own bakery. Wonderful. Thank you both so much for joining me in. It's different programs like this that Charleston Wine and Food also works on, not just the events that are this weekend. Live 5 also will have an event at Culinary Village Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So if you're going, make sure to stop by our booth and try some of the foods that we're serving. Thanks for joining us, and keep tuned. We will have more updates on social media the rest of the night as this event continues. Reporting live in downtown Charleston, Emily Johnson, Live 5 News.